Now I know you just clicked on this video because you're like, oh my god, Abreeze has uploaded like some sort of fanfic to the main Road to UK channel because why would they be talking about vampires? Like what do vampires have to do with trying to be a doctor in the NHS or coming to the UK or anything like that? But they actually have to do with a lot. And it's not because it doesn't, you know... <laughs> It's not because there's no sunshine in the UK, which is also another thing that people seem to think happens a lot. But that's for another video. We're gonna talk about vampires. We really are. Watch this video. Okay, just, 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 just let, let it happen. Hey guys, my name's Breeze, and I currently work as a doctor in the NHS and I am not a vampire. I will admit there was a stage in my life as a child that I really thought it'd be pretty cool to be a vampire. This is obviously pre-Twilight. Look, I don't care if y'all all are Twilight fans out there and we are potentially alienating a fan base. Twilight is not good vampires. It's just, what is that? No, bring me Van Helsing. You know, bring me Underworld, bring me Moonlight, bring me anything else interview with the vampire, you know, Lost Boys, that's the stuff. But I digress. Today, the types of vampires that we're talking about are not, I suppose, those types of vampires. But there are vampires out there that will drain you of other things. Maybe not blood, but maybe, you know, your emotions, your time, your resources, just your happiness. So we're going to talk about how you can avoid those vampires, the kinds of people who never have anything nice to say, who always seem to be there when you're at your lowest, and who will wait and pounce when you're most vulnerable to make you feel awful. In a way, they are pretty close to the vampires that we associate with Hollywood and what have you. But the ways to get rid of them are decidedly different. Please do not try and stake a person in the heart. I want to make this very clear in this video. Like, I'm not getting into trouble if somebody out there decides to go stab someone. That's not what we're talking about. Whether or not you choose to add more garlic to your diet, however, I mean, people will probably stay away from you for other reasons, but you do you. I hear garlic's good for you for other reasons, so by all means. But again, I feel like I keep digressing way too much, but let's get to the main points here. There's always going to be someone who's going to be talking in your ear and telling you you can't do it. Sometimes it's you. Sometimes you can be your own vampire. There's a part of you that will be filled with self-dread, self-doubt, self-whatever that I can't do this, everyone else can but me. And you need to tell them to stop. You need to say, actually, no, I'm not listening to you anymore. I've got to do what I've got to do and I'm going to get it done and you concentrate on your goal. Yeah, there are going to be hurdles in the way, but honestly, if everything came to you nice and easy without any work, you'd get real bored. You would. There's no fun in that. Be it in a game, be it in real life, be it in whatever that you're doing. So don't let those types of trials and tribulations, you know, stop you up from what you want to do. It might slow you down, but it shouldn't prevent you from accomplishing your goals. Now, the vampires that may be around you, they could be friends, friends. They could be even family. They could be people that you actually looked up to for a good portion of your life and all of a sudden they've turned tail and they are telling you things that are filling your mind with all of this anxiety. And all they are accomplishing, honestly, is making you feel bad. Some of these vampires like live for this stuff. Like it's like good gossip, it's good feed, it's keeping them alive. They're feeding off of your sadness, off, off of your anxiety, off of you just being oh my gosh, I can't do this. And they're sitting there and they're like, yeah, that's my work. I've done that. And these vampires, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're sitting at home and they don't want you to succeed and they're also not succeeding in their lives. Sometimes the most successful vampires are those actually who are doing leaps and bounds over everyone else, but they're keeping everyone else down because they're basically sinking their fangs into other people's necks. So what can you do to avoid them? First, you need to know how to recognize them. Like I said, it could be anyone. And you've got to be very tactful in how you manage a vampire because you don't want them lashing out at you, mainly because they will somehow turn it into, you know, you've changed ever since you wanted to do this. You want to do this only because you think you're better than everyone else, etc., etc. And you don't want to risk alienating someone that you've known for a good portion of your life because it could just be they're also just taking out their frustrations on you. Unlike the vampires of lore, these vampires might only be vampires for a short period of time because 
they've also reached some sort of stress in their life or another vampire has turned them into a vampire. But there is a way back that doesn't involve, you know, like, I guess, holy water and what other weird things are out there that they've tried to de-vampire people from. But remember that. You know, sit down with these people and just be like, you know, I get that you're, you're looking out for me. You're saying these things because you think I can't do it. Okay, but how about we think for a second if I could do it? What can I do to better myself and make these things happen? If they don't seem amenable to that type of a situation or it doesn't seem like they're very reasonable, just, just leave them behind. Let them get into the sunlight and turn into dust. Don't worry about them anymore because you have what you need to do and that's being awesome. So concentrate on being awesome. These vampires, though, like I said, can be at any stage of your career. They could be at that stage where you're thinking about taking English proficiency exam and they're going to be like, what? You want to do what? You can barely speak English. Man, you can barely speak your own language. Don't you remember in second grade where you had the hardest time even spelling this and this or doing that? And they're going to drag it down. Once you start talking about PLAB or any postgraduate exam, they're going to be like, you want to do what? You barely passed medical school. Ooh, but can I tell you guys a little joke? I know it's the best joke ever. But in reality, what do they call the person who graduates last in their class in medical school? They call them doctor. Yes, that's right. Applause for the person in the back who got that and is probably the only person actually laughing. But in reality, it doesn't matter. You finish medical school, you are a doctor. Nobody cares and remembers who was the first person who graduated and who was the last person who graduated. The individuals I always feel who are most like caught up in that stuff are living in some sort of la la land because why is that important? No one cares about that. They don't. You understood the material, you've gotten this far in your career, you've passed all the exams you needed to pass, and here you are. Think about the next steps in your journey because I can tell you the minute you get your GMC registration, somebody's going to be in your ear again and say, what? You think you can get a job in the NHS? You can barely hold down a job right now. Then you get that job in the NHS. What? You think you can get into a training program? Please, they won't let you into a training program. Then you get into that training program. What? You think you can be a consultant? Look, I think it's fairly evident where I'm going with this. So don't think at any stage in your career these vampires will go away. You just have to get better with dealing with them and tuning them out. If anything, if you feel like there's a period of your life where you're surrounded by more vampires than you are friends, think for a second that you actually might have made it because that's a good sign of success. If someone or some group of people are so adamant to put you down, it could very well be because they're just wondering why haven't they done it or they are in so, so much awe of your accomplishments that they don't want someone else to succeed if it isn't themselves, which is a very selfish way of thinking, but there you have it. Some people are just like that. So the takeaways, guys, there will always be someone out there who will tell you you can't do it. But whatever happens, don't let that person be you. Just don't let that happen. Go in the mirror every morning when you're brushing your teeth, look at yourself in the eyes and be like, I got this because you've got this. Like, why else would you be doing this? There is no part of our career that is ever easy. I'm sure someone told you you couldn't get into medical school and guess what you did? You got into medical school. So there's always going to be someone who's going to tell you you can't do it. There's always going to be someone who's going to tell you that you're not good enough for something or you won't be able to accomplish anything. I mean, we all hear it. And the important thing is not to let it get to you. We're human. It will affect us on some days. You might have a day where you just feel like doing absolutely nothing. You don't want to get out of bed. You just want to curl up and watch scrubs have like a tub of ice cream or just cry. And that's okay. Allow yourself to be human because you're not a vampire. Remember, vampires are the undead. You are alive. Have feelings. Emote. Talk to people who matter to you, who you can trust, who are individuals that have your best interests at heart. And do not, for a second of your time, waste a second, a minute, an hour, a breath, on those people who don't care about you, who are only there to drag you down. Because really, like, let them do what they're doing. And you can tell them that, like, that's fine if you think that, that's your opinion, but I know what I've got to do. Or just ignore them. Because it's like one of those things, when you get to where you've had to be, you stand at that, that peak and you look back and you realize, I can't believe I just climbed all that, but here I am. And here's the fruit of all of that time and effort. So. Don't do anything again just because someone tells you you can't and you want that to be the fire in your heart. No, 
have your passion and have your resilience from the things that you want to accomplish and the things that you want to do. Think about who you're doing it for and who you want to make proud because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. And even if you do struggle, even if you fail a couple of times, even if there are a lot of hurdles for you to get there, it's okay. If everyone had the exact same path, the same straight road with no obstacles or no hurdles or nothing like that, we would all be very boring. Because I'm a firm believer that what we go through in life molds our personalities and makes us who we are and how we react to the surroundings and our situations and everything that happens. And that is the best type of doctor to go to. That is the best type of care you could ever receive when you're faced with something that is insurmountable and you've accomplished it because you are then able to bring that type of energy, that type of resilience, that type of you to your everyday practice. So there you have it. That's how you deal with vampires. If you want to go all buffy on them, not suggesting it, do your own thing. And like I said, there might be a few angels who you thought were evil vampires, but in reality, they have a soul. And I get that I'm making a lot of maybe obscure 90s references for those of you who don't watch <laughs> those types of shows, but it's okay. This is a sign for you to get into that stuff, the good stuff. So that's my bit about vampires. Bit. Get it? Get it? It's like bite, but I've made too many puns. It's okay. I understand. These are one of my shortcomings, but I've enjoyed it. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you want to continue seeing weird videos made by me and Ibrahim, continue to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our newsletter, maybe book a personalized guidance session if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one about Buffy. That's cool. I'm always there for that. And we'll see you around. Bye.